Yeah, what up, everybody? Freak a leak a leaks. PYT number 41, guys. I'm going to random off the Cubs right now. We're going to go 10 times for the Cubs. Um, I also have. I also have number 43 and 44 halves going in now, so you guys know. And uh, good luck, everybody. Hard 10, baby. Tell them, Big Ben Rob. Did you see my email? No, nah, I didn't. Well, I didn't. Uh... I'm sorry. I'm not. I really don't check the email much for things like that. It's like usually being begs. But I will look though, Johnny. I'll look right now. Oh, yeah, it starred, so. Uh, a lot of times, just so you know, Johnny, I don't know the situation, but just looking at that. A lot of times, Megs will accidentally print a label for somebody, and it either didn't, it wasn't supposed to go to them or not. And then, even though you refund it, you still get the tracking information because it does that automatically. I don't really know that. I'm just telling you that could be, just so you know, because I see you said you got into a break after, days after that was labeled. But it, just so you know, that's could be it. I don't really know. I'm sure it starts, so someone will get back to you. But um, if anybody ever has a problem with anything shipping, just right under the screen, you'll see Miss Meg's email. Contact her. All right, guys. Good luck, everybody. Top one in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The final time in the one. Bam, Paulie. Paid off, baby. It paid off. On ten, guys. The Cubs. All right, you guys talk about trades, things you like to do. Alright, um, just hit me up in the IM, let me know what it is. I I can I can always pinpoint every card, it just takes me a lot of time. We have a shipping camera, just like this. I mean, literally, like, look. Literally, like, I can literally see everything, every card, every, it just takes time to find it. But, I mean, I can always, we have shipping cameras, so we, you know, if God forbid we lose a card, I mean, it just takes me a lot of time. Like, you know, it's not an easy thing. I have to sit there, and it's basically like fucking watching paint dry because I got to sit there and watch and watch and watch. And, you know, so if anybody ever loses a card, always know I can find it. If, you know, I mean, if it's a big card, I mean, I can always find it. I know exactly who it got sent to immediately. It just takes me a lot of time. Sometimes more than an hour. I mean, depending if I can't break it down to the day, I might have to sit there for two days and watch four hours of shipping. But I could do it if I had to. If I lost a thousand dollar card, like I could easily do it. But I just prefer sometimes just to hook you up if I can. You know, if something like that happens, just so you know. Yeah, you already know, baby. Here we go, guys.
girls. What up, Cloud? All right, girls. Good luck, everybody. Sorry about the time on that, guys. Says this one, that's the one we're going with. You know, I've been picking some bad ones lately. If you're not picking the best ones, I mean, the second one is usually good, but the first one I've been picking usually hasn't been good, so. From now on, I'll let you guys pick. I'm doing a left right thing, like I normally do. I just thought I have like a hot hand lately, so. I've been picking good ass cases usually, but. I don't know, the last few triple threads, the first case I always pick seems not to be the best one. I haven't had a book in a while. Good cards, just not a book. Maybe a book there. Thompson's a beast. Durant's a beast. Golden State Warriors a beast. Guys, give me a guess on uh, the first one on one. Give me a guess. You pick the team, 15 bucks. Just a team. All we got to pick is the team. Light it up for me, girls. Light it up for me. Let's see what we got. $15. Can't beat 15 bones. One guess each. What up, Razor? Yeah, Bess is a great guess. That might be a book. That should look thick as hell.
All right, guys. Sorry about that, man. Just have to take care of that. It's important. Have to take care of the people, baby. Oh, boy. Possible cut. Possible cut. Old school guy. Possible cut, fellas. I never can tell without looking at the front of their cuts or not. First one of one. Whoever gets it first wins. If the person on YouTube guesses Red Sox and there's somebody on this theme and it's a one of one, I'll pay both of you. Because I can't tell you who did it first if I wasn't watching. So, Thor, if you get it, if it is a Red Sox card. I'll pay you and whoever guesses it over there as well. <laughs> Unbelievable is all I'm going to say. Unforgettable forevermore. Yo, uh, Blake, I want to ask you something. Don't go nowhere. Wow. I thought I saw something cool. I had to look. There might not be a one one in this half. We might have to done break the other half, girls. X marks the spot. X marks the spot, ladies. Y'all ready? Again, all base card ship. i just show them to you. So you see nothing got mixed in. Just all regular base cards. Rookies, vets, it all ships. What? What, Hoopy? What up, buddy? What's up, Hoopy? How you doing, bud? Hoopy, doopy, poopy. Oh, yeah, all base ships, bro. Always. In this. You know, some stuff, I mean, if it's garbage stuff, I mean, we don't do it, obviously, but, you know, I mean, you talk about triple threads, sometimes these base cards fetch, you know, five bucks a piece sometimes, I mean. You know, what if you're talking about something else, with, you know, garbage base, you know, we just do, like, the rookies and stuff, but this stuff, everything ships. All right, here we go, guys. Griffey to 340. Roberto Clemente. Nobody traded, right, guys? Trump working on the master plan. Trump, I mean, should be the president. I, listen, I don't really like Trump, and I don't like Hillary, but I really don't like that she's a total crooked criminal. I mean, she's bad. Like, yeah, he might cheat on taxes and stuff. One of 25, Rizzo. I mean, listen, politics and sports cards don't really belong in the same sentence sometimes, but I'll tell you what, man. I, I don't want either of them to win. Unfortunately, one of them have to win, so I'm going to pick Trump over Hillary, but... I mean, Hillary's whacked, bro. Like, whacked. I mean, all politicians are whacked. I mean, I think we need to change, and we've never had somebody like Trump. So, maybe it's time for a change to see what happens. 
Jorge Springer. I, I don't necessarily disagree, but, like, she messed around with, like, real classified stuff. Like, you know, and I was reading an article today, Hoopy. It's so funny you're bringing this up. I was reading an article today, Verlander. Um, Bill Clinton the, was leaving on a plane, and the, the Attorney General was flying in at the same airport. He stopped the plane on the runway, turned around, and went on to her plane, the Attorney General, and, like, talked to her for a half hour about kids, grandkids, life. He kind of, like, brought pressure to her. She was sweating. It was a book release today. Um, she had beads of sweat running down her face, like... You know, she felt really intimidated, and they never pressed charges on her. And it was told that they weren't going to press charges on her, but they blew her up. You know, they said that they, they blew her up in the media over it. But, you know, how is that fair that she doesn't have to have any charges brought up on her? Sandy Koufax for the Dodgers. How is that fair, man? That's what I thought, though. Uh... Trumpet. I thought that about Obama, Chipper Jones, being being an African American. I, I I thought that about Obama, you know. And I'm not I'm not saying Obama's a good president or a bad president, because like I I don't think he's the best president. I think they really screwed up with that health care, Obamacare, and you know Obamacare screws it. It makes everybody all people who are working their asses off, you know, uh, deductibles go through the roof and and and, and copays. You know, everything has a negative. You know, you might seem like a positive to some people, one of three forty with me, but there's always a negative. But the only reason why I wouldn't want him to come president years ago, Wade Boggs to 99, the only reason I didn't want him to come president years ago was because I knew that having him in security was going to make, was going to, uh, in presidency, Buster Posey, was going to make the, the amount of money we pay for security on our president almost double. You know, and we're in debt as it is to 50 Piazza. You know, you get a, you get somebody in like, you know, let's say Giuliani becomes president. I'm just making this up. You know, or, or Doug Christie, like, you know, it's normal detail and security of a president, Maeda. Um, you get somebody in like that, I mean, and, and, you know, people, you know, you get some real people that just want to kill him because he's, he, he, I, I didn't think he'd last. I really didn't. I swear to God on everything I love, I thought he'd be assassinated. I swear to God. I bet people like Hank Aaron of the Braves, I bet that he'd be assassinated. And not because any reason, nothing to do with me. I just assumed some people, you know, them crazy left after, whatever they're called, would really just kill him. Like, honestly. Like, I really believe that. My, I really believe that. Jackie Robinson to 340. I, honest to God, I was, I, I was like, if he becomes president, somebody's going to shoot. Randy Johnson. Ah, you never know about any of that stuff. Who takes out who. Matt Harvey, all of that. So everything is such a conspiracy. They keep us from everything, bro. It's it's pathetic, actually. I mean, I know some things they do. Aaron Nola, rookie. I know some things that they do because, you know, because they they don't want panic. And I get that. Mass panic would be bad. But at the same point in time, like, they really keep America in the dark on everything. It's disgusting, actually. And they make us believe all this thing about, about some terrorists that really don't even exist sometimes. I'm not saying all terrorists don't exist, but... You know, a lot of times they just make shit up, man. They just know the people will, will deal with it. They control the press, the news, everything. Brian. Oh, yeah, bro. Griffey for the Mariners. Listen, man, we can't be worse off with either of them, so. To 99 each row. Either which way, there's going to be pros and cons. David Wright of the Mets. The boogeyman is <laughs> Satchel Page for the Orioles. Michael Trout for the Angels. I'm waiting. Who's the boogeyman, bro? Upton for the Tigers. Isis. <laughs> Garrig. All right, we're going in, girls. Wow, this should be so many top. Here we go, guys. Good luck. First one of one's done. Yo, where is the chat at? Like, you guys aren't even chatting with me. Like, what's up, man?
First up, to nine, I'm back. Prince Fielder for the Rangers. Going out to Scott. Nice card. I'm ready for a monster hit. What kind of hit you want? Thanks, Billy. AJ Reed, rookie of 99 for the Astros. I know. I just said thanks. I saw it, baby. Relic for the Mets to 27. Granderson, Harvey, and Conforto. Epic fail. Here we go. Fail source. For the Brew Crew, Michael Reed to 75. He's batting without a helmet on right there. Silly guy. Two cases to go. Griffey, Fernandez, and Ichiro. Nice one to 36 for the Mariners. We've got the Mariners. Mariners, Mariners. B. Paul. Duffy for the Strohs. Cal Ripken, the Iron Man. I'm born and raised Houstonian. <laughs> ah! Brandon Belt to 50 for the Giants. He says, I am Isaac. No checklist for fullest buckets at all. Nope. Honest to God, Isaac. It's going to shit on Immaculate, but you're either going to get hits or nothing. You're going to have, all right, Immaculate, you can go 10 cases with no good hits, right, but then you get a monster. Every case of Flawless will have a good hit, but here's the problem. There's going to be about almost 18 less cards per case in Flawless. So, what that means is, off the rip, 12 teams aren't getting a hit. Off the muscle. Number break is good if you want to get in and try to hit for a big 5K card for 25, 22 bucks, you know, something like that. Um, it will be better. Uh, it always is. It's never not. Now, Immaculate Immaculate is really good, but, like, you know, this stuff will be incredible. Incre I mean, incredible. Flawless is just incredible. There's nothing else to talk about. Now, I heard they put tags in it this year. I heard they put tags into Flawless this year. Uh, so, tags will be good. There's some weird number stuff in there as well. I mean, this stuff is really going to be good, man. It's going to be good. And now there's going to be a, the Immaculate will be in. The Immaculate Kristaps logo man is going to be in here. So Steph Curry signs like, you know, he signs a lot more in this. I'm going to tell you right now, you have a much better shot at hitting a Curry in full than you do an Immaculate. By, by quadruple. I'm telling you right now. So anybody who's into that. Wow, Ewing signed. Ewing never signs. Patrick Ewing is in this. It's going to be good, man. It's going to be good. Real good, actually. It's going to be good. Um, there was no San Francisco card. I ripped it up. All right, here we go, guys. I ripped it up. Happy birthday, Razor! Christopher Bryant, 1560-100. Razor, I got you on the next filler, Razor. Ref Snyder to 99, Relic Auto. For the D-Bags, Yasmani Tomas to 18. Johnny Damon for the Yankees. I brought cards to my uh, daughter's baseball game tonight. Gave it out to the kids. Some of that, like, USA Baseball. You know, not expensive stuff. To three, Han for the A's. Very nice. Going up the pool pay. Um... You know, so I gave out uh, some boxes that I had to the kids after the game, both teams. And somebody got the Johnny, a Johnny Damon 101. It was pretty cool. Kid was going crazy. To 18, Baez for the Cubbies. The Rocket. Wow, what is that? What is that? Look at those symbols. That's sick. For the Red Sox, that's a sick card. Oh, yeah, I always, well, I've done it twice so far. I mean, I try, you know, to make them. Into cards and stuff. To 75, Alex Wood. You know, they're good kids, man. All my people on the left. Give me one more time. Yo, B-Paul. 
B. Paul, I bet you after you got the marriage, you're like, yo, I can't get nothing good. It was something good in the last case. Hat! How about again? How about again, baby? Hernandez Cano and Uka Mora Relagono. This is the first, like, anything that really good. Not a very good half so far. For the Cubs with a pinstripe to 27. A Rizzo. That one's the 36. Yours was to 27. Carlos Martinez to 99. Wow. 9 of 9. Lagaris for the Mets. Yes, yours was to 27, sir. Carpenter, wow, I love this guy. TCU, baby, for the Cardinals. For the Pirates, McCutcheon to 27. Panic, Relic Auto to 99 for the Giants. This guy's good, he's a keeper. I got some stuff going in uh, FanDuel, man. Killing it right now, bro. Killing it in like five, five different leagues, uh, five different games. I'm, I'm like literally crushing it. I hope to stay there. Miami, Justin Board of 50. Relic Auto. Lance Lynn for the Cardinals. The 36. Jonathan Lucroy, one of eighteen for the Brew Crew. They maybe sign. They maybe send over pictures, driver's license, front backs, a mug shot. Twenty four, twenty five. Zach Wheeler. I couldn't even believe it. Like they asked me for all kinds of stuff the other day. I'm like you have to confirm your identity. I'm like why? Because I'm winning stuff. Mike Piazza to thirty six nine fifty one for the Metropolitans. For the Orioles rookie auto. Pickard to 99. Nice one. I like these ones. There's one per case or one per inner or something. Wow. Look at that. Emerald Future Phenoms Auto to Relic Conforto for the Metropolitans. Mets are such a good team. Gomes for the Indians. Cowhart on card, baby, is 75. Nice one for the Angels. For the Red Sox, Betts, Mookie, that is. And for the Pittsburgh Pirates, Legends to nine, Willie Stargall. And we must, I repeat, I was going to do something else right now, but we got to do the other internet. I'm telling you. Devin Travis to 99. We must do the other inner. Must. Like, it's not even a question. Four times, guys. Four times. That was probably the worst case of triple thirds I've done. I mean, it had some stuff, but nothing good, really. Yeah, we gotta, like, literally have to do that. I was really going to do something else just to split it up a little bit, but it was that bad where I don't want to let that thing sit. All right, guys, here we go. Four times top spots in tonight's giveaway. Bottom spot goes to the fest. Two, three, and four. All right, Paulie, you're in tonight's. Gotta wait a second. Man, this shit's circling. Scott J, you are in the fest. PYT number 41, bro, bro. You're in, you're in, you're in, you're in. Like a chicken wing.